this is just cortisol. And all you do is you just put that piece inside of your cheek, so, leave it there for a while. So we, we put this inside our mouth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about the results from the tests of Let's Get Checked from two steroid users and one natural athlete. So I had Marcus Fit IFBB Pro, I had Dawson, AKA D-Tren, and what we did was we took a look at their overall blood markers. We didn't take a look at every single variable. We missed AST, ALT, glucose, a couple other things. So I just wanted to go over some of that with you guys, tell you what their cycles are, show you what their overall labs look like, and then you guys can see kind of what the markers look like when somebody might be using some of these androgenic substances versus somebody like me who's never touched the substances. So all you do is, I'm sure you guys are both used to you guys sterilize every time, right? No. No. You don't Never. sterilize every time? <laughs> oh, bro. That's not for stuff. weenies. Dude. Yeah, that's for weenies. Dude. Yeah, you just, you can tell that your, uh, that's not your circulation's that's not the best right now. I don't know why now. that is. Not bleeding much for some reason. At least it's intimate with TNF, you know? It's like bonding experience. Maybe Joel's is better at the technique. I know how to milk you. So this is like a standard um, blood panel with testosterone, estrogen, lipids. Yep. What about liver? Liver enzymes, kidney? I, I think that's like the one thing. I don't think it does liver enzymes. <laughs> but it does lipids. Is it cholesterol? Hmm? Cholesterol? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Why? Is your cholesterol going to be bad? It's probably going to be <laughs> fucked. Don't use steroids, kids. Steroids are bad for you. Don't use them. First off, we got D-Trend. Now at the time of the test, D-Trend cycle looked like this. We had 300 test, 1,000 Primo, 150 Masteron, and 30 milligrams of Winstrol. Just so you know, anytime I use a number when I'm talking about these things, if I say 300, I'm referring to milligrams. Now obviously 300 test isn't super high, and that is exactly what we saw when it came to his overall blood work. We saw that his testosterone fell around 2,000, but it didn't get nearly as high as it will for a lot of other people who are using anabolic steroids. Right, I need to prick another finger. Okay, I got you. All right. I mean, TNF is pretty, <laughs> pretty you gotta, you gotta, big. You gotta like actually squeeze some blood down. All right, squeeze the blood down. TNF is in summit. Your hands are cold. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna you're gonna windmill your arm for a little bit and get the blood into your hand. See, you didn't tell us these tricks earlier. Yeah, because we yeah, I didn't realize you had an ice box for a hand. <laughs> well, I've been squeezing it for nonstop out here. <laughs> This is like when I feel like a ketchup bottle, I'm trying to get yep. the bottle. Yep. <laughs> now when we have Marcus, Marcus is on a lot more tests. He's on 900 tests, he's on 400 Masteron, and 350 MPP. So as you would expect, Marcus's test levels were much higher. Then you compare that to somebody like myself who's not taking any substances, my test levels were around 600. And just to give you a picture as to what super physiologic test levels looks like, usually you're looking at somewhere above 1200, 1300. Does that mean that somebody who's within range could not be using exogenous tests? No, but if you're looking for the crazy, mind-blowing results that you get from having exogenous tests in the system, most people you're not going to see having around 1,000 or below. You're gonna see it going much above that. One thing that we see is both of them had down-regulated SHBG, where my SHBG was much higher. And then one of the other things that people commonly look at when they're trying to figure out if people are on anabolic substances is they look at their lipids. When it comes to lipids, both of these guys had down-regulated HDL, but overall, the rest of the numbers don't look that abnormal for somebody like Marcus. Now here is the smoking gun, the one that tons of people point to if they want to see if somebody is on substances. They point to FSH and LH, and both of these guys had what I would call tanked FSH and LH follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone. Now LH and FSH are what are known as gonadotropins. These are produced in the pituitary and they have direct functions on the testes. So if you're thinking about these substances and you're like, oh, I go on this and there's, I, I don't really feel too much. Under the hood, there's gonna be a lot of things going on that you might not necessarily know about. We're gonna see who has the highest testosterone out of all of us, right? Me. My you natural wish. testosterone. You wish. <laughs> see. <laughs> People think that high testosterone proves that you're not natural, but actually, it just proves that you're more of a man. That you're so, better. Yeah. Yeah. You're just better. <laughs> so the clearly, real, I'm gonna have the highest testosterone. The real here. TNF's coming out now. Actually, what are you running right now, Dawson? 
uh, MK and enclomiphene. <laughs> oh, the good stack. Yeah, yeah, the the MK stack. and the, the enclomiphene. <laughs> you know, just like a little light dose, like the, trend a little bit. Of the red like 140 the Austrian. Eight, 800 <laughs> milligrams, <laughs> trembolone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, are you really? No. <laughs> was like 800 milligrams. Just a light dosage, you know. I'm on the TNF stack. Now, if we're being completely honest, have you ran that much before? Yes. Yeah, I, I have. It. I knew it. Many times. Many times? Yes. Jeez. I'm talking about like a shot before work, like a fucking milliliter and a half shot before work, <laughs> like black oh coffee. God. I actually have a question for you, Joel. Yeah. This is something I was thinking about. So you go by WADA, right? Like WADA is the end all be all. Okay. No, I'm asking. I mean, it depends on what you're asking. Like, you say, like, to, to have a natural status, you go by water. Yes. I was just going by more so off of, like, the actual standard of what water, because they're like Brandon Clark, but they're like, he's like, live and die, live and breathe and die by I've, water. I've always said this, like, I, I don't find a moral issue. To me, it's not a moral issue at all. So the reason that I go by water is because that's what it takes in order to compete in a natural organization. I don't care. Like, yeah. if, if somebody's like, if somebody takes something and they're like, and they're like, oh well, so I'm not natural anymore. I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, and they get all flustered. But I'm like, if you cannot compete in natural organizations, then you're not natural. Like, that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's a bad thing you took that substance. I'm not saying that it didn't, that it's not a good thing for you to take. Like, and that's why I was so frustrated with things like BPC, because I'm like, there's so many people that could benefit from it, and the yeah. only reason they don't take it is because they want to maintain their natural status. Kind of, kind of where I was going. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people, due to save their natural status, are withholding taking things that could actually greatly benefit them. Agreed. Like BPC, TB500, yep. like things like that. So. No, I completely agree with that, and that's why, like, that's why I was completely fine with going with Transcend. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, they offer a lot of stuff that I can't take while I'm competing. But the minute I'm done competing, I'm gonna be taking peptides. I get so many steroids. I get multiple comments that are like, "Hey, <laughs> easy." <laughs> I'm gonna be taking peptides. <laughs> trend D ball. Yeah. Anything. Uh, Everything. Got him. I get a lot of comments that are like, "Oh yeah, like I, you know, my test level is like 300. You know, I would love to hop on TRT, but I don't want to lose my natty status." I'm like, "All right, like you can just say it, 300. Like there's other things you can take for it, but like people are so concerned with the natty status, it kind of ruins their." I, way of their, uh, you know, their, about, not their, what am I trying to say? Their, uh, not con style life there. Come on. Come I, on I don't, I don't have the word for you. Dang it, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like, what's the point of it if you, like, what's the point of taking so little, I guess? If Always you, take more. If yeah. you don't. <laughs> up the dose. <laughs> Syring, they make pretty big syringes these days, you know? The thing I have never understood is people who are obsessed with their natural status who don't compete. Yeah. I'm like, if you don't compete, who cares? You know what it is, Joel? It's an ego thing. Yeah, I guess. It's, no, it is. It's actually an ego thing. So what does this all mean? Basically, if you have somebody who is not taking substances, especially substances that are going to enhance their performance by a lot, their blood work is going to look quite different. Does this mean that every single person who has blood markers that look like the ones that I have is natural, lifetime, never touched any substance? Absolutely not. And I think this is where people get confused because somebody will show a test and it shows that these numbers are pretty similar to what I have and then they'll say, oh, well, that guy must be natural. Unless you've done these tests over time and you're showing it monthly, every two months, like there's probably going to be a chance that somebody who has been on substances previously could come off and get their numbers relatively back to normal. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look into the things that people look at when they say, well, what's their blood work look like? Are they on substances? Let's take a look at their FSH. Let's take a look at their LH. These are the things that they're talking about. And even if somebody has shown you their blood markers over time, it does not necessarily mean that they are natural, but it can give us a bit of an indication as to how heavy they are going on these substances if they are on them at all. Because somebody who's coming off every month or two months in order to get a clean blood work test, they're not gonna make nearly as much progress as they could as if they were taking these substances through long periods of time. Well, that wraps up the video for today. Just a nice short one for you guys, but hope you learned something. TNF out. Not sponsored.